Hello everyone and welcome back to Building Vilda. In the previous episode we enjoyed painting her and watched Vilda getting a beautiful coat of orange salmon pink primer on the outside. Now we are moving on and continuing the fun with some sanding and fairing inside the salon. This video might not be the most exciting one to watch since our progress consists in well sanding and fairing. But do stick around if you like the blue color, as there will be a little bit of that. In case you are wondering what we are using, the beautiful blue product is an epoxy based fairing compound that comes in two parts and that we mix one to one. It is easy to mix and relatively easy to work with and also more importantly maybe, it's quite easy to sand. You're only blowing the hair. Yeah? Yeah. Am I blowing the hair? Only a bit. Oh no! Okay, now you want to make me? I figured I'd let it dry first. And so the fairing continued. And there was some extra sanding too. As you can imagine, we had a bit of fun while fairing upside down around the forward hatches. The next job was to sand down the side walls of the salon. That was quite a painful exercise, especially in certain parts of the salon, but we managed to get over it. So we've been uh, terrible YouTubers uh, as usual for the last couple of days and, and not filmed very much. And uh, yeah, but this is where we're at. We've removed all this plastic here and all the plastic that was covering the windows and uh, Suddenly this place looks huge again and after that we have bogged and then sanded the hell out of the uh, uh, salon sides. We have filmed some, some of that but uh, you've seen so much fairing and sanding so uh, <laughs> it doesn't get very exciting does it and there's uh, a lot more of it to do. So today we're cleaning up here and uh, getting rid of all this blue dust and then uh, we're going to put fairing compound all over these surfaces and the bucket <coughs> and then we're back to fairing or sanding again. So that's how fun we're going to have for the next couple of days. But after that we can go to painting again, <laughs> which is so much more fun. Yeah. 
You may be wondering why are we not using the blue product anymore for the bulkhead? Well, since the bulkhead is a fairly flat vertical surface that we can sand with a bit less effort than the inclined walls of the salon, we decided to use the other fairing compound that we have, this one being an epoxy and Q-cell mix. And save some of the blue product for those other tricky surfaces and corners that will be coming up later. Next on the to-do list was the seating area, which, you guessed, needed some fairing and sanding as well. And then I had the beautiful pleasure of sanding the bulkhead. As you see, we haven't fared the most forward part of the salon. The idea has been to cut out the whole front of the salon roof. Um, by doing that, we would get better access to the mast, better ventilation, and perhaps an easier way to add a self-tacking jib. While we would have loved to get this modification done, we feel it might take too long time. So in the end, we decided to install the biggest hatches we could source in the existing roof and to do some more fairing in impossible places. I think that we should start with the top only. But then we're gonna... But then we're gonna get our... In the head. Yeah. We'll see. But we can definitely do the top. And if that's not dry enough for us to do the... We'll focus on top and this first. Yeah. And then we see if we can do, maybe we can do that, the top here, and this, and this, yes, and then wait. Yeah, or, or, or later, or later, later. yeah, yeah, I think you're right. The top side, and then we can do the top and this. Yeah. And leave, leave that surface. Yeah. So thank you for watching, we appreciate every like, comment and new subscriber and if you are enjoying it, follow our journey in the next episode.